Hi everyone, this is John from H Valley Tools again. Welcome back. And we're in our showroom shop again talking about edge guides and track soles and track sole adapters. Always get a lot of questions like, do I need an edge guide? Do I need a track sole? The answer is yes. Um, we have our trusty piece of melamine here that we're using, and we've got an aerial view of a lot of the options that are available to you. So we have edge guides that are clamp on, we have track saw adapters, we've got our little powerful little saw that is very convenient, and we have a true full size track saw, our Triton. And the thing is, which one do we do? Well, what do you have? How much would you like to invest? And then what are your expectations in terms of accuracy and performance? And we're going to do a little bit of a dig deep on each one of these, but not too long. So here we go. Okay, so now we're going to dig deeper into this, and let's dig in. So we're going to start out with, I have a, I have a circular saw. This is our trusty DeWalt for our shop. And what do we do? Okay, so let's get this out of the way. So most of these edge guides are all clamp-ons. You line them up with your thing. This is our ratchet clamp system. This thing is really cool. Super strong. Actually stronger than it has to be, but it's super strong. Boom, line it up. Get your saw. Okay, line it up, left hand foot, boom, cut. What's the problem with that? Well, you're gonna have to do a little more math because we have to account for the distance between the blade and the foot of the saw. So when you're lining your lineup, you always have to account for, okay, the saw's gonna be here, this is gonna be there. It's a little more work. Okay, now, one of my favorites, the power tool edge guide. This is one section of it. This thing is really super, this is badass. This extrusion is really thick and straight. This is one half of it. Not only that, the clamps are really heavy duty and they're on these really tight keepers that slide and you won't see it real well, but there's a rubber grommet that adjusts how much pressure or less pressure you need to slide these, very cool. The other part of this that we really like is the coupler. This coupler is enormous, okay? It, puts both sections together dead straight, it's not all wiggly, and it's truly like 110 inches long. Really nice. Works the same way as any, tr as any of these do. You bring it together, you do it, and these clamps work like a track saw. You put it underneath, you clamp them on, you line it up, you cut. Okay, so this is our MLCS track saw, and this is a nice entry point. It gets you into the precision and cutting power of a track saw without a huge investment. Oh, yeah. Now remember, it's not a full size saw. It's a worm drive, so it is powerful, but you're gonna have to be more patient with your cuts. So what I like about it is that this is two sections of track, you get six, and they're very straight. They come with a keeper or a coupler, okay? And it's a really cool design coupler. It's a two piece coupler that has two pieces that expand and squeeze the track and it really holds nice and tight and straight. Some very basic, simple clamps for doing the underside clamp and also a couple blades. You have your 24 tooth carbide blade and you have your 60 tooth high speed steel blade. And it's a very simple operation. It's a lightweight saw, it's got a pommel on the top and then if you want, you can come in this way. If you were doing a plunge cut, you can line your foot up there's a foot on the right hand side that goes underneath here. So it just slides in and it slides this way. Now we're getting to the precision of lining up the zero clearance strip with your pencil mark. That's it, that's how easy it is. Now we're getting into track saw, okay? So does a nice job, great for dimensioning, knock, knocking down lumber, squaring up something, pretty cool. Now we're talking about what I would consider an entry-level performance track saw. It's got a pretty attractive price point and it delivers really good performance for the money. You start with a much wider track, okay? So the track here is wider in aspect and it gives you a lot more surface so the track can't skid around. 
the other thing is now we're getting into speed clamps. These are really cool. They're faster to set up. They slide into the underside of the, of the track here. You slide them in, you pull the button, boom, you're there. We also are getting the zero clearance cutoff strip now. So now your alignment is getting much more precise. You're right on top of your curve. Very cool. And now you have some power. This thing's got some real serious power. These are 160 millimeter blades. So now we can start doing thicker stock. And this particular Triton is kind of cool because it's also a variable speed motor. You can slow it down, you can speed it up. It's got the ability to scribe and it's got a lot of safety features on it that freak some guys out because if you go to go backwards on it, it doesn't want to go backwards because it's got an anti-kickback mechanism built into the track. This track is the same track as Makita. It's used for Triton. It's also used for Festool. And this also opens you up to a lot of options in the future. I have our Freud blades that we sell here in the showroom. These are really killer. When I bought my first DeWalt, I hated it. It's like, this thing's terrible. And then I realized, hey, maybe it's the blade. I put a Freud uh, double-sided laminate blade on, and oh my gosh, it cut like a glass. That's the secret. So when you really start getting into it, and you need something that's more dedicated, a lot more power, a lot more precision, and you're going to use it a lot more, now we need to step up into the higher performance models. And again, you can add additional sections of track, they have couplers. There's all kinds of accessories for this thing. Triton also has a router mount plate that's kind of slick. I didn't want to show it to you right now. But you can actually mount the Triton router on it, and you can use that on it as well. Very cool. It's a nice way to leverage the tool for more. But again, this has got a higher price point, bigger investment, so you want to use it more, and it's going to give you the power and precision you need. That's it. Okay, if you have any questions, hey, ask. Please ask us. Always willing to help you out with questions before you buy. I love doing that. That way you're not disappointed. And if you're in the area, Philadelphia metropolitan area, stop by the showroom. Say hi. We can take a look at everything that's here. We show you everything. These are out on display, and it's a fun time. Thanks again for watching the video. Have a great day.